there with a stationary video. So if you are not a stationary person, you would rather see decks or astrology stuff, then maybe this one isn't for you, but that's okay. Um, just so you know, I have a Facebook group called uh, The Rock and Roll Riches. It's like a open, not open, like you have to, you have to say you want to join or whatever, but it's not secret or closed or anything. But um, there's about 70 of us on there. It's a really great community if you want to come and join us. There's just a couple of questions to answer that you have to answer just to make sure that you are interested. But um, basically, as long as you answer the questions, you're probably good to join. So come and join. There is the links below if you want to do that. Um, I'm going to show you, I bought some new stationery. had a bit of a stationery haul. I really wanted to, um, I was really inspired looking on Pinterest. You know how you can just fall into a giant pit on Pinterest. And um, I was looking at... I was looking at kind of art journals and I was looking at bullet journals and I kind of wanted something that was like a little bit of a mix between both and kind of a bit of a day planner and um, I just really wanted to kind of do a system that kind of worked for me and then when I saw that it went well I'm gonna need you know more markers and pencil crowns and things like that so then I had a little I had a little um, stationary stationary buy haul kind of thing that I did so I'm going to show you first my pencil case, which I'm in love with, which I know sounds crazy because it's a pencil case, right? And then I'm going to show you the, the book that I did. So here it is. It is a multi-layer pencil case and it is a nice lavendery purple, which is one of my favorite colors. Love, love. Um, I have seen these things and then I was like, I must get one because I'm... I love things being organized and um, my husband thought it was crazy like me patting the pencil case and like getting it all organized and looking at it but if you're a nerd like me you probably appreciate it. So it's got like four different layers and they all zip up. Oh I'm, I'm putting the wrong in. Okay. Stationary nerd alert. Okay. So the first layer has like spots for like You've got your erasers, I've got my protractor here, and my um, pencil sharpener. And then I've got all my lovely pens, all my Sharpies and uh, pilot pens and stuff. It's so uh, calligraphy pens. Look at all those pens, so nice. And then the next layer has pencils. So I've got all my, um, all my drawing pencils here in order of like, what is it, 6B to the H's to F, all of them there. And then we start in on our color pencil crayons, which I have to also put in color order as well because I'm a nerd. Um, and there they are. Look at them, beautiful. And then we start with our colored markers, also in order because, again, I'm a nerd. So there we go, color, and then um, I've got a few spaces left here as well, so for extra things. But I love this because it's all here, whether I want to use a pencil or a pen or color something in, it's all here, and it all zips up so nicely, and then I can take it all with me. Um, I had just like a regular pencil case before, and I found that I would just like you fish around forever looking for that one pencil and that one pen that you really wanted. And I just found it to be like awkward, whereas this, it's like I can see it all, it's all there, it's all contained, and I love the organization, and I know I am a total, total geek. Um, I know there's different variations of this. I got this on Amazon. I don't, I don't think it was very much. I think it was like 10 bucks or something. And then um, there's other ones as well. I went and looked at the reviews, because some people, there were some where people said, oh, it says it can fit this many, but it can't really or the elastics are too loose or things like that. But um, this one was, had pretty good reviews and I'm really, I'm really happy with it. I didn't need something super fancy, but just something that I could organize all my stuff and see it all and know where exactly where everything is. Oh, sorry, my cat jumped and freaked me out um, because I'm a nerd like that. So I'm gonna switch the camera around and then I'm gonna show you my new day planner that I made um, that I'm really, really enjoying as well. So this is my moleskin journal. It is, I don't know what the European thing is. I think it's like A5, but it's basically like an eight by 10. 
Um, I have my stickers here from my tattoo artist, um, her studio, and that's hers there. So I'm going to cover this in stickers because why not? I love the moleskins because they have the little elastic band here. I also love they have like a pocket at the back, which is amazing. My, I think the only drawback to them is that the pages end up often being a little bit thin for my liking, but it's I, I can work with it. This I got the dot one because I didn't want grids because they stand out too much, but I still wanted reference points so I could like measure things out. So um, I'm going to get something to cover up any, there we go, any personal info. This is my... Um, sort of vision board collage things of just things that I like um, so yeah I always do this again total nerd but uh, this this is what I do the cover page here I have here the card that is my card for the year which is strength and then um, for like the year that I'm 44 my astrological Lord which I'll talk about in a whole other video but the time Lord is mercury and then when I turn 45 it'll be the moon so that's why I have those here and then I have um, the word of the year which I've got to fix that um, anyway I have 2019 goals which you so you can see I've not written down I still have to do that um, I did a reading on the next page so I'm gonna skip that over just because I did a reading for the year um, I also have like a mood tracker all this brown is when I was sick so you can see how long I was sick for that's nice so I have a little key there and then I have a little drawing for the month of June I started this halfway kind of through June or towards the end of June so um, I've only got a couple of weeks there and then I did like um, a big sort of calendar for the month and I've put on here my um, I've put astrology here some like astrological things um, as well as events and things like that I have my goals for the month here as well as a tracker of just like different habits that I'm tracking as well and then over here I have um, I have my goals for the week and then I've broken down the week into the different days of the week um, so that any any sort of appointments that I have can go there so I don't want to like give personal information but basically that's the way that they look so that I can do all of the list of things that I need to get done though during the week and then on these uh, pages this page here where I've broken up the week I can write down any appointments and things that I have and check them off as I need to so then um, at the end of each month I have a little review goals achieved any surprise events overall notes and then I go back to I have my little my little drawing there and then here we have our uh, calendar again and I'm not going to show you this week because I don't want any personal information but then we go through the whole thing again so that's the way the whole thing kind of goes uh, it has like the calendar it has like monthly goals and a tracker and then it goes through each of the weeks so I've done all of that right up until December and then what I'm gonna do I still have to fill all these things out but I'm gonna keep track of like books I read as well as like music I'm listening to my monthly favorites and ideas for the um, the different videos and stuff like keeping track of like my YouTube ideas and patreon ideas on other pages so I've kind of divided all of these up for like music and art and favorites and stuff and then each month I'm gonna track all of the different videos I made and stuff on these pages here and then I've got a whole bunch of extra pages just for other lists um, all sorts of extra things I really love the pocket at the back of course I have my unicorn stickers because I am 12 years old in here and that's kind of what I've done um, that's an, oh and I love these little tab things so I can find what month I'm at and I love that it also has like a little ribbon to keep your place and everything it was a lot of fun just making this and doing this there's a lot of really great day planners out there but I just thought it would be fun to try to like combine all the different things that I love and make something that was really just kind of personal to me as well so that's kind of my little stationary update um let me know what are your favorite journals to work with for like bullet journals or art journals or um 
day planners, anything like that. I know some people like the lecterns better. Let me know what you think about it. I've kind of made like, I was going to try to combine like my art stuff and this, but um, I'm going to keep like my art sort of my um, art journal or sketchbook, whatever you want to call it separate. And I'm going to do another video about that. Let me know if you're interested in that at all. And uh, let me know if you're also a stationary nerd because um, I think stationary is awesome. Anyway, thank you so much for all watching and as always, peace and love and rock.